Hidden features in Scalar 2, number four. I've got four instances of Scalar in this project and this is what it sounds like. Now that sounds phenomenal, but what if I wanna change out the chord progression? Well, as of Scalar 2.7, there's now a live sync feature. If I come into say the main Scalar here with my chords, it doesn't have to be that one, it can be anyone. I'm just gonna come in and right click this logo in the top right, hit sync, and now I can choose what I wanna sync to the other instances of Scalar. You'll see that Scalar has detected three other instances for a total of four. But what I wanna click is actually live sync, which will sync all of the chords, voicings, and timings in the chord progression builder in real time. I'm just gonna start live sync. And when I click out, you'll see that now that main scalar, the one that I chose and did the sync feature there, says leader. And on the other scalars, it says follower. And now I can come in and change my chord progression. Something like the Josh Abrams, really, really great chord sets. If I come up here now and drag and drop that into the chord progression builder, which is the one at the bottom, you'll see that the follower instance of scalar has updated automatically in real time. Let's see what that sounds like. So it's got a cool vibe. It's completely different than the other one, but I like it. It's up a little high though. So watch what happens if I come into the edit page again on the leader instance of Scalar and just lasso everything and drop it down an octave. All of the other instances will also be dropped down an octave. And that's gonna be the same for your voicings, your timings, and everything else that you do inside of the chord progression builder in the leader instance of Scalar. If you're not using that, but you're using multiple instances of Scalar, you definitely need to start.